supposedly liberal Joe Rogan has announced that as a liberal, he will be voting for Ron DeSantis in 2024. I think it was like a couple of weeks ago where he tried to prove how liberal he was, but instead of talking about all of the leftist policies that he supported, he kept interrupting himself to talk about how conservative he is. I'm pretty sure I did a segment either on Twitch or on YouTube, but um, let's listen to the lib endorse a far-right fascist for 2024. Yeah, so all this stuff is happening while we have a dead man as a president. Yeah. Now, I'll pause it. That's true. Biden is a zombie. So I have no qualms with people who want to shit on Joe Biden or liberals because I do that all the time. But the difference is you don't shit on Democrats because they're too woke or too left. You shit on Democrats because they're too conservative. But from his perspective, as a rich person... You know, maybe he's duped by the culture war, but also he's a rich guy. So rich people flock to Republicans like flies on shit. They love rich people because they know that they deliver. I mean, Trump, one of the main things that he did was cut the taxes of him and his rich friends. So it's hard to not find that as something that is alluring if you're a rich person like Joe Rogan. But then again, I don't really know what his motivations are because he's pretty dumb. So perhaps the culture war wins him over. Either way, let, let's listen to his rationale here. You know, it's, it's just not um, fun. Are you it's throwing not, out any, um, fun. any support towards anyone? Or are you going to hold off? And, uh, cause I know, didn't Elon Musk uh, come out recently for DeSantis? Yeah, yeah, I think Ron DeSantis would work as a good president. I mm -hmm. think, I mean, imagine going from Bernie Sanders in 2020 to Ron DeSantis in 2024. Like we all rightfully make fun of Bill Maher from going for, uh, from uh, <laughs> Bernie in 2016 to Amy Klobuchar in 2020. But I mean, Joe Rogan jumps from one side of the political spectrum to the complete other side. It's just, I mean... If you're a fan of his, you've got to have whiplash, right? And what he's done for Florida has been admirable. Look at I feel like I'm... What has he done for Florida? What has he done for Florida? Well, as Matt Letch points out here, Florida population, 21 million. Taiwan population, 23 million. Death from COVID in Florida, 75,671. Uh, deaths from COVID in Taiwan, 6,448. So the good thing that Ron DeSantis did in Florida was pretend as if the global pandemic wasn't actually a thing. Oh, and another thing that he did was he repopularized homophobia. It's not like homophobia was non-existent in Florida, but he passed the Don't Say Gay law, which he copied from Hungary's dictator, Viktor Orban. And now, because of that law, I have a video coming out about this, um, teachers are basically being discriminated against, and that's mandated by the state. They're forced to, to remove any rainbow uh, lanyards that they have or stickers that they have on their desk. If they're in a same-sex marriage, they're forced to take away that photograph of their spouse. So what exactly did DeSantis do? Well, a bunch of horrible fascistic things. And he also created an uh, election integrity police unit. Now, he says that in Florida, I mean, their elections are secure. So you think, well, wait, why do you need a police integrity unit or election integrity unit or whatever the fuck he created and it's because he is power hungry he consolidated the power of the executive in florida but ron uh, ron DeSantis does all this and joe rogan's like oh no he did good though letting everyone just die in his state that's good i like that ridiculous Doing breaking news right now yeah. that wasn't even on purpose do, 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 do. <laughs> I feel like what he did for Florida, a lot of people gave him a lot of grief, but ultimately he was correct. He's he was team. correct. When he was correct. Tens of thousands of people died in Florida due to COVID because he wouldn't take it seriously. And what he did was correct. All of those lives can't come back. You couldn't even do the bare minimum with a fucking mask mandate. Unreal. And yet these same people say that they're pro-life. Not Joe Rogan, to be fair. He's not pro-life. But all these conservatives who refuse to wear a fucking piece of cloth over their faces during the pandemic, they're the same ones claiming, oh, we're pro-life. This is a pro-death party, and the cruelty is what turns people on to people like DeSantis. People find fascism and authoritarian strongman alluring, right? They like decisiveness, and that is what Ron DeSantis is. He's a monster, but perhaps that's why, you know, um, Joe Rogan likes him. It comes to, like, deaths. 
He was correct when it comes to protecting all vulnerable populations. He was correct in terms of distribution of monoclonal antibodies. And he was furious when the government tried to pull those. They were trying to pull very effective treatments. You know, he is not perfect. He's a human being. But um, what he... Not perfect is a, a very, very charitable phrase. He's done is stand up for freedoms. And mm. people think that that... So this, stand up for freedoms... He is attacking freedom of speech in his state. Isn't this guy a free speech warrior? Ron DeSantis is the fascist governor who signed a bill to essentially decriminalize running over protesters with cars. Ron DeSantis is the individual who is censoring teachers. So that way, if they even mention their sexual orientation, they could be fired. But he's standing up for freedom? I mean, their view of freedom is so skewed. But, I mean, this is a rich asshole who lives in a mansion. So his perception of freedom is probably very skewed. It's very different than just the ordinary American. But the good news is that his own audience does not like this take, and they rip him a new asshole. And we'll get to that in a second, but we'll finish this first. This was some weird gaslighting shit that went on where people equated freedom and saying the word freedom to, like, right-wing bigotry and hate is so strange. Well uh, maybe that's because when conservatives use the word freedom, they usually mean freedom to fuck people over, freedom to restrict reproductive rights of women, freedom to use your religion as an excuse to discriminate against people. So when they say freedom, they quite literally mean tyranny. It's a synonym for tyranny. Like, and that's not hyperbole. Conservatives do not give a fuck about freedom. We just had uh, Lauren Boebert say, I'm so tired of hearing about the separation of church and state. In other words, I want to be able to impose my religion on everyone else. But we're for freedom, baby. Fucking insufferable. What a dipshit. Now let's go to his subreddit because um, I love the response here. So Ron DeSantis, the liberal's choice, right? This guy went from Bernie Yang to DeSantis in two years. Holy shit, right? That's, that's quite the fucking jump. I mean, if you go from Bernie Sanders to Elizabeth Warren... Ideologically, I, I understand that. It makes sense. But to go from fucking Bernie to Ron DeSantis, that proves that he has no core political beliefs. And he doesn't have to, right? He's a, he's a multimillionaire. So you don't really have to have a consistent set of political principles. You just kind of go with the flow. And if, oh, this person is popular, I like them. That's, that's what it is. Unfortunately, that's as simplistic as his worldview is because he doesn't really have to you know, have um, a strong understanding of the way that the world works or the way that the economy works because he's rich. He'll be protected from anything forever. So whatever the harm that the government does, him and his family is fine. If one of his daughters, God forbid, ever needs an abortion for some circumstance, they'll be fine. He has money. He can take them to a different state or a different country if need be. So that's why he doesn't have to, you know, put in the time to research and develop a coherent political ideology. He just kind of like, talk shit and that's his shtick and that's why people liked him before but you know he's no longer this average joe you know he's going uh, growing more and more out of touch with the average working person and people see it his own subreddit is turning on him joe i'm pretty liberal rogan yeah exactly i'm a liberal on everything except guns joe rogan lol this is roasting him. How a 60 year old goes from universal healthcare to pick yourself up by the bootstraps in such a short time is truly baffling. It is. It really is. He just, he gravitates towards whatever is popular. So if Bernie has momentum, he's like, ooh, I like Bernie. But now that DeSantis and Republicans have a lot of momentum, he's like, okay, I guess I like them now. I just, <laughs> he's so vapid, so stupid. Bernie to DeSantis. I mean, how could you not laugh at this? Everyone's pointing it out. That's kind of weird. I was told Rogan was a liberal because he had Bernie Sanders on one time three years ago. And that's what bugs me, right? Okay. You cannot say that he's a liberal when if you have to point back like three years ago to when he brought out Cornell West or Bernie Sanders. Um, yeah, that kind of um, proves my point more than it proves your point. Does it not? Makes sense. Joe being such a liberal and all. Cool. We could use another culture warrior divider in chief. Also, DeSantis is fully vaccinated. Yep. How very liberal of him. I just, I love this. Why do people think Joe is right wing? 
I don't see a single Republican leader that is creating sustainable modern economies based on science and technology. When there is a tech industry in a red state, it's in a blue area like Austin, where red politics focus on legacy economies like farming and natural resources. That should be a red flag to any voter. Under Trump, coal dropped to half of what it was under Obama because the global economy isn't something you can dictate, only respond to. The entire Republican Party seems focused on regression, to push back further to the point of even unraveling the Enlightenment and creating a theocracy. This is a time when China has the largest STEM workforce in the world and a long-term strategy. And that's the thing. How can you support Republicans right now at a time when they're offering nothing but division, nothing but reactionary identity politics? It's white identity politics, but it's identity politics nonetheless. Now, that's not to say that Democrats have a vision because Democrats are fucking vapid and terrible as well. But to affirmatively support Republicans, like, they're exponentially worse than Democrats in every single way. As corrupt as Democrats are, Republicans are 10 times as bad. So to support them because Democrats bad, to support Republicans because, um, I, I don't know, culture war issues, it means you're a shitty fucking person. Yeah, I'm sure the guy who made it legal to run over protesters really cares about freedom. Trump is going to blow another gasket. How he went from Bernie to Trump to DeSantis, or homie went from Bernie to Trump to DeSantis. America is finished. And I love how if you watch Idiocracy, President Camacho, I think that's his name, far more intelligent than I'd say uh, Trump and Biden combined. Millionaire celebrity podcaster, UFC commentator, Fear Factor host, sauna specialist, microdosing enthusiast, backs Florida's Republican governor, naval officer, bronze star recipient, Republican governor, Ron DeSantis. Don't know if his comments can be taken as all in, but yeah, Joe is clearly a Republican, a gold medalist, mental gymnast. Um, he's many things except funny. Yeah, so I mean, his own audience once again has turned on him because over the years, he was kind of politically ambiguous, leaned left, just kind of, you know, was, I guess, a social libertarian in a lot of ways, but he's just jumped in headfirst to the culture war. I think that maybe COVID broke his brain, but it is nice to see his own community shit on him because he deserves it.